Hi, this is Dr. Nina Naidu. Uh, today we are going to cut open some implants. I've been promising a few of my patients that I would do this, so that way you could actually see what's inside these two implants. Now these are both silicone gel implants. This is a smooth, round silicone gel implant. It's a traditional silicone gel. It's not a cohesive, it's not a gummy bear, it's a silicone gel. The other one that we're gonna look at is what we traditionally call a gummy bear implant. So that if you open it up, it should be fairly cohesive. And this is the one that has the anatomic shape and it's cohesive, it has a cohesive gel to hold that shape. So let's actually start with our traditional implant and I'm using my good kitchen knife. Hopefully it'll survive this. To open up the implant, Okay, so I cut open this implant and you can see it doesn't spill out. It's fairly cohesive. It's gooey. It's like a really, really thick jelly. It's not as thick as a gummy bear, but it doesn't ooze out all over the table. So I may have destroyed my knife, but the implant actually looks pretty good. It's a silicone gel implant, and this is the traditional one that we've been using for off and on for about uh, probably about 50 years. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the cohesive implant, and so I'm going to cut this. And this one is much thicker. It has more of a consistent gummy bear shape. So it's actually got a fairly solid surface. And this is why they call it a gummy bear. It's not gonna ooze out all over the place. So this is a traditional silicone, a bit more gooey. Again, not spilling out all over the place, but definitely gooey. And this is the cohesive implant, which holds its form much, much better. So those are the differences between the two implants. They're both excellent options. And rest be assured, if you ever have a rupture, uh, and hopefully you won't, if you ever do, these aren't going to be spilling silicone all over your body. Your body will wall these off and protect you. But in either case, whether you have the more modern silicone gel or the more recent gummy bear, they're both going to stay relatively cohesive within the body. I hope that was helpful. For more information, please visit my website at www.niduplasticsurgery.com. Thank you.